I'm back. I'm back at it today, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm here to just touch on a few things that I may have missed in my last video. All right, this is still this video is still going to be pertaining to the asteroid 1998 OR2 that is expected to be seen in the uh, in the morning skies on the eastern horizon uh, on the morning of the 29th. All right, now. You know, I had a lot of people uh, say in the comment section of my last video that, you know what I'm saying, that I was spreading fear and uh, there's no such things as asteroids, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you already know, it's very obvious that's coming from the flat brain, from the, uh, from the flat brain society, but we're going to bash that shit up right now because fragments of this asteroid already hit Nigeria. Uh, a month ago, a month ago, in I, I believe out, outside the capital, I'm not sure if this is the capital of Nigeria or not. Uh, yeah, Akir, Akir, Nigeria, we have um, an asteroid impact that took place. It was a smaller asteroid and it hit a small village. Now, I'm going to show you guys the impact right here. Okay, this is the small crater uh, that was, you know, got there by the asteroid. It was only, you know what I'm saying, the size, the asteroid could, could have been no bigger than the size of a bike. You know what I'm saying? But because it's flying at such a high rate of speed, you know what I'm saying, when it makes impact, they leave these very, very large craters. I'm not sure if this is going to play or not. Oh, here it is. Okay, so that, that was a quick video of what happened with the asteroid impact. It, uh, it landed in Nigeria in late March, okay, just a month ago. So what this is, is the, these are the smaller asteroids that are hitting Earth before the bigger one passes. Now I'm still I'm still not sure if uh, OR2 1998 is going to hit or not. I don't I like I said, I have no clue whether that's going to make impact or not, but you can clearly see they have multiple videos of the impact crater that this asteroid made. And right here you can just see you can see how big that is. Look at these people. This is I know maybe a 100 or so people and uh this is the crater it made. Now, I'm going to show you this video right here. I think this is, yeah, this, this is larger. Now, that's very interesting because I don't believe that that was a bomb. I don't believe that this is this was uh, done because of a bomb because you can see the shrapnel from the asteroid okay that looks different from the uh, most of the rocks in the crater you, you see what I'm saying so when this happens the uh, the asteroid rocks and stones they spread everywhere so you know this is the uh, that you call this the quiet before the storm okay um, this thing right here is real and it, we're gonna be able to see it on the eastern horizon at 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to repeat that. You're going to be able to see this asteroid shoot across 
the eastern part of the sky, 5.50 a.m. on the 29th. Eastern part of the sky, 5.50 a.m. Eastern time. Okay? And uh, I think you need a, 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 yeah, you need an amateur telescope to view it. And then, you know, when I made this video before, uh, breaking down the whole ritual behind this thing, you know, you had a lot of people say that uh, planets didn't exist and asteroids don't exist and all that nonsense. But, you know, like I said, all you have to do is just some simple research and um, you can look through an amateur telescope. You can clearly see Venus with an amateur telescope that you can purchase yourself. You can clearly see Mars and the two moons, the two moons of Mars with an amateur telescope. It, you know what I'm saying? Okay has nothing to do with NASA you can purchase your own telescope and see Jupiter and the moons orbiting around Jupiter okay you know but you got these you got these ass clowns talking about planets and asteroids don't exist you know what I'm saying that's that's crazy man that's crazy you know what I'm saying so you said planets don't exist we can clearly see the see those with amateur telescopes okay so not only can we see Jupiter Venus and Mars with amateur telescopes we can see Saturn uh, with amateur telescopes we can see the ring around Saturn which proves it's a spherical object and we can see the moons orbiting Saturn okay we can see the same thing through amateur telescope with Uranus and uh, and Neptune and like I said like I said look this right here is amateur telescope amateur telescope amateur telescope all these are amateur telescope photos and then you see flat brainers say that satellites don't exist so you said planets don't exist you said comets don't exist and you said satellites don't exist well like I said I'm proving you wrong with forensics this is forensic photographic evidence and this is not from NASA this is from an amateur telescope amateur telescope you see that okay now we're going to scroll down and we're going to see more video evidence from amateur telescope that satellites actually do exist. You, you see what I'm saying? So, you know, you guys just make a, a fool out of yourselves more and more as time goes by. I have a video on my backup channel. It's called Anunnaki vs. Draconians and the video evidence I have there basically proves that the, the moon is a spherical object. All right? Okay, right here, there are many video evidence, photographic evidence of impact craters from asteroids. Uh, and just so you guys know, an asteroid has to come down at the Earth at an angle. And if it comes, if the asteroid comes straight down uh, vertically, that means that it's not an asteroid. That means that it's a bomb. It's a, it's a, you know, a military bomb. If it comes at an angle, the only way an asteroid can make impact on the Earth is if it comes at an angle, at a diagonal angle. All right. Okay. There's many, many photographic evidence. Like I said, the crash sites have the stones that are scattered. They're not bombs. These are actually uh, meteorite showers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You flat brainers gotta wake the fuck up at some point in time. You know what I'm saying? I, I had a dude message me shit just a few hours ago saying that space isn't real. Well shit, if we have an inner space, how why wouldn't there be an outer space? Have you do you know the seven hermetic principles? Do you know the laws of perspective? Do you know the real laws and the real order of the universe? As above, so so below, as within, so without. If you have an inner space, you have an outer space. Okay? As the flow of energy above, the energy below has to mirror that. Okay? There's waters above and there's waters below. The waters above are less dense. Okay? And that allows uh, vibrational energy, vibrational frequency to flow through the cosmos. Okay? The cosmos consists of less dense water. A, a less dense form of water okay a lighter form of water alright so if you say space doesn't exist or 
I should say the cosmos because it's not empty space it's cosmic water okay so if you say that it doesn't exist you say the creator doesn't exist and uh, if you want to see like I said your flat earth delusion get destroyed all you gotta do is put this in right here on, uh, on, on my channel or just scroll through my videos and you'll see it the ultimate flat earth debunking video an hour and 31 minutes an hour and 31 minutes of complete destruction um, for the you know for the flat earth psyop um, also you know I followed it up with this video right here okay uh, this is you know almost 28 minutes and I proved I proved in this video that the flat earthers uh, they base their curvature math on false math okay eight inches per mile squared is not how you measure curvature over a sphere over a spherical object uh, they use the wrong equation for that okay so like I said your whole if you consider yourself a flat earther your whole perspective of reality uh, is completely off and you're using a false mathematical equation uh, for the basis of your whole theory okay so like I said if your theory doesn't make sense regarding math or forensics or archaeological historical evidence that means you've fallen back into a religion alright so I just wanted to you know make the people aware that this shit is uh, this r is real um, okay when it comes to this right here we're either gonna see it go across the eastern horizon at 550 in the morning on the 29th 550 Eastern time okay or it's gonna make impact one of the two okay so you know that's really all I had to say on this topic um, I'm gonna be posting another video tomorrow so be on the lookout for that I appreciate everyone who supports RFG and Atlantean movement please like share and subscribe it's the chosen one man I'm out